Hello Scorpio, this is a you and them love reading. This is going to be looking at your person's energies, how they feel about the connection and how you feel about them and also what's going on in your connection as well as a potential outcome. So we're going to get right into it for Scorpio. Spirit. Messages for Scorpio please regarding love. This will be for those of you who already are in some sort of a connection or have someone in mind. For Scorpio, please. What do they need to know, Spirit, regarding this other person? Using the Animal Spirit Oracle deck here just to get an idea of how you feel about each other. So tell me about Scorpio's energy, Spirit, in this connection. What is Scorpio thinking or feeling in this connection? These are general readings, so they will not resonate with everyone. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Check out your other placements if they don't resonate at all. Lion, nice. You know what I just heard? You're not messing around. Okay. So the Scorpio is not messing around in this connection. Lion is a very interesting energy. They tend to be, it's like they're almost like intimidating. Um, but deep down, you know, they, they mean well. It's just that people don't really understand them. Um, so let's see. What, what about your person? Tell me about Scorpio's person. What are their energies in this connection, Spirit? What are their energies in this connection? Ooh, fire ant. Yikes. Conflict, drama. A lot of people involved here with the fire ant. A lot of energy um, trouble. <laughs> Something's going on here. I feel like your person is more unstable almost. Like, um, like there's a lot going on for them and you're over here kind of like regal, you know? Calm, cool, collected. Let's look at the lion and the fire ant a little bit closer. Just in case anything here sticks out to you specifically. So let's start with the lion. Patient, regal, <laughs> complete master. Their, their dedication inspires some and intimidates others. Therefore, the lion is respected by all but known intimately by few. Some mistake the lion as hard to access or aloof, yet those with a keener eye know better. Lions are observant, stealth, and precise in their words and actions. They don't waste time or resources. So you have got it together in this connection. I feel like maybe you're a little hard to read right now, Scorpio, or maybe um, there's something that this person you're dealing with finds a little intimidating, almost like they're out of their league here. Now the fire ant, um, Aggression, rigid thinking, following orders. Gossiping and blaming are a few indicators that misaligned fire ant energy is at play. You also may find yourself stewing on a person or situation, only making things worse. How can you break free from the drama and cool down? Fire ants are surprisingly sensitive. Don't pretend the heat isn't getting to you. So there's something going on here with your person. Now, Scorpio, I have you on this side and your person on the other, but feel free to flip them if they resonate more for you because the energies can be vice versa. But to avoid confusion, this is you and this is your person for me. So I feel like your person is in deep, well, you, you can fill the blank there. I feel like there's a lot going on for your person right now. Um, I'm also getting like pent up frustration or resentment that's building up here. So let's see. What is the mutual energies? What's going on in this connection? For Scorpio spirit, what can you tell me about what's going on in this connection between Scorpio and this other person? What's going on? What's going on here for Scorpio and this other person? What are the mutual energies? This connection, I'm using the energy oracle deck here. What's going on here? Oh, my cards are sticking. Ooh, patience. Number 16. This card always, always reminds me of the temperance card from the tarot. 
Um, so patience is needed here. Maybe there's something here with divine timing, something that hasn't happened because it's not the right time. So let's see, let's get into the tarot here. Now, again, this is a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Scorpio watching. So just keep that in mind that this is a general reading, okay? If it resonates, though, let me know in the comments how it's resonating for you. All right, so let's get into this. What is the main energy here? What's going on here between Scorpio and this person, Spirit? What is going on here? Oh, the world. I love that card so much. And two of wands. Beautiful. With the nine of cups. Nine of swords reversed at the bottom. Wow, Scorpio. There is definitely something new here. Something that I feel came from a decision or a path that someone chose here. Either someone was choosing a path right now or this has already happened. And I feel like someone's going after their wish fulfillment here with the nine of cups. They're, you know, they want to be emotionally fulfilled. They're feeling like they're getting their wish granted here. I really feel like, I, notice how in this particular deck, the gate is opening here. So I feel like someone, it's like you have a a gift or or it's like the, the door is opening for you in order to walk towards your wish fulfillment here. A whole new cycle, something amazing. And I feel like this has to do with this connection or just maybe you are walking towards this gate here and not looking back. Let's see. Tell me about Scorpio. Can you tell me about Scorpio's energies and this connection? Can you tell me about Scorpio's energies? Oh, I got all, all three. You got the Six of Swords. So yeah, I definitely feel like it's you walking through this door, Scorpio. Leaving what needs to be left behind here. Again, that feeling of not looking back. Ace of Wands reverse, possibly because something wasn't working for you, wasn't manifesting for you, uh, wasn't fully getting off the ground here. So you decided to maybe leave. And then I have the Four of Wands. I feel like this is what you're going towards. We'll see when I clarify. It's like you're, you're, you're moving towards stability, towards concrete foundations, towards harmony and, and just domestic bliss. Could even be um, meeting someone at a distance here. Uh, maybe there's a long term, uh, not long term, but a long distance type of connection here because I have the Six of Swords. It could also be that um, maybe, you know, you weren't getting something wherever you were at or in whatever situation you were in. Um, and so you're, you're not settling. <laughs> the lion doesn't settle. Interesting. I have the higher font reversed at the bottom. So Taurus energy here, it could have been that you left a relationship um, or there was a commitment that was broken here. Tell me about... Tell me about Scorpio's person, please. What are their energies in this connection? What are their energies in this connection, please? The Fool, Reverse. Page of Wands, Reverse. And the King of Cups. So I feel like your person is the one. Yeah, this kind of goes with what's going on here. Your person is, um, I feel unable to take a risk here or delayed from taking a risk or something like that. Queen of Cups reverse at the bottom. We'll have to see when I clarify, but it's like your person's not really dealing well with what's happening here or something's not working out for your person with the Page of Wands reverse and the full reverse. It's like they can't get their situation off the ground or they can't get something started something um new here that they want i feel like they are delayed from getting it or held back from getting it so let's clarify i'm going to use the light seers tarot here to clarify 
Let's get into this. Can we clarify these energies for Scorpio, please? Clarify the energies. I mean, this starts off great with the world and the Nine of Cups. I mean, this is a brand new cycle here where you feel like you have it all, Scorpio. And But this is, oh my God, look what just fell off the deck. Nine of Cups. Are you kidding me? Um, but I'm also getting here with patience. It's like maybe this didn't happen in the time that you wanted it to happen. Maybe you've been very patient, but now you're ready for something new here. Okay. Tell me about the world. Sorry, let me clarify these energies for Scorpio, please. Tell me about the world. Four of Wands reverse. Eight of Cups, definitely. Okay, so someone's definitely walking away towards a new beginning here because something wasn't stable, wasn't working. Tell me more about the world. Can you tell me about the world, please? The Emperor, someone's take this is that lion energy right there. I feel like this is you, Aries energy here with the Emperor. Someone's taking charge of their life, of their love life, um, getting a handle on their future. Tell me about the Two of Wands. Yep, yeah, Nine of Pentacles. Walking right towards freedom, independence, doing it all on their own here. Six of Wands reverse. I, I mean, it's like someone is not letting a failure or not letting um, anyone else dictate their success. They're going to go towards a different path here. Three of Swords reverse. There could have been a situation here. I have the Ten of Wands reverse at the bottom. Yeah, and the Three of Pentacles right after that. There could have been a situation where too many people were involved here. I feel like the fact that there was too many cooks in the kitchen, too many hands in the cookie jar, <laughs> caused conflict. This could be anything. This could be friends, family, partners, ex-partners, whatever it is. Um, I feel like someone has decided to, you know, and it could also be that someone was debating between two people. I feel like someone has finally chosen a path here. Tell me about the Nine of Cups. It's the Nine of Cups here. Wow. Lovers. Gemini energy. Someone's choosing something new and fast. Knight of Swords at the bottom. The Lovers is all about a choice. And I, I say this all the time because people, yes, the Lovers could be about a union. But more than anything, it's, it's a choice, a path being chosen. And you have to be very careful about your choice. Some people, they think too much with their head or too much with their heart. Um, and so they can make a mistake if they're not careful. I feel like someone here is thinking about a choice. In a partner, possibly here, where their needs are met. Maybe this is their wish. This one partner. Tell me about the Nine of Cups. One more, please. For the Nine of Cups. Wow. Yeah. Queen of Cups. Are you kidding me? This is all about love here. Bottom of the deck, I have the Queen of Wands reverse. I feel like there was two queens to choose from here. So let's see. Tell me about the Six of Swords. Why is the Six of Swords here for Scorpio? Oh my gosh, there you are, Scorpio. Death card. Wow. Something ended and you're leaving. You are moving moving on, moving forward here. Yeah, look at this. Five of Wands. There's that fire and energy. There's even fire right there. You are leaving the BS behind. I feel like you could even be leaving a commitment here with the Ten of Pentacles reverse. Maybe this will be um, difficult financially for you, but that's not stopping you. Wow. 
This is very strong energy, Scorpio. Almost like your patience like ran thin. Tell me about this Ace of Wands reverse. Like you put an end to this. Tell me about the Ace of Wands reverse, please. The devil, yeah. Capricorn energy. I feel like you you are not someone that can that will allow yourself to be trapped in a situation. Maybe there was a lot of physical chemistry here or some sort of unhealthy codependency that kept you a little bit stuck. But you are no longer waiting. Three of Wands reverse. You are no longer waiting. Three of Pentacles and the Hermit. Virgo energy here with the Hermit. You thought about this. I feel like you you're you you got fed up with some sort of interference or something to do with more than two people here. Tell me about the Four of Wands. The Moon Reverse. So something came out here for you. There was some sort of revelation. A lot of water I see here in these cards specifically. And then when I say that, there's a Six of Swords Reverse. Notice how I see like um, the Devil kind of looks like he's underwater. I have the moon, I have the Six of Swords reverse. This Hermit card even looks kind of like she's underwater. Then I have the Eight of Cups behind that with the Six of Swords. Um, I feel like there was something that came to light here and there, would, there was maybe um, some delay in your departure. Something that kept you from moving forward here. Can I get one more for the Four of Wands, please? King of Swords Reverse. Could have been someone um, difficult here. Someone that um, maybe this was you. You, you, whatever you found out, you weren't happy about. This person isn't very happy. This King of Swords Reverse, very closed off, um, emotionally shut off. Also, um, kind of vindictive resentful um frustrated energy here you found something out you figured something out here with the moon reversed something came to light and you really thought about this i don't think this was an easy decision by any means but i think you're following your heart You're definitely following your heart here. And it's like with the six of wands reverse here, you could even like not even care what people think. Tell me about the full reverse for your person. Why is the full reverse here? The wheel of fortune reverse. Well, nothing's really working out for your person over here. The chariot reverse. They're stuck. They're unable to move. Um, feeling probably... Uh, like they have nowhere else to turn or to go. Maybe they need to just completely change direction here. Cancer energy with the chariot. Nine of wands reverse. Yeah, this is really taking a toll on your person. King of pentacles reverse. Queen of pentacles. Yeah, this person is not dealing well. I feel like they're this king of pentacles reverse and you're this queen of pentacles upright. Tell me about the page of wands reverse. Oh my gosh, look at this, the tower and the king of cups again for your person. Something happened. Something happened to your person here. I'm so sorry about the background noise. My neighbors are cutting trees. Can I get one more for this page of wands reverse? Really guys? The sun reversed. I feel like your person, um, the fact that they didn't start something, that they didn't communicate, or that they didn't follow through on something caused the tower. I feel like the choice was made for them. It's almost like they didn't deliver and you cut the cord. You made the choice for them. 
Tell me if this is resonating for you in the comments. I pretty sure that this is resonating for someone and it goes a little bit deeper than this. Tell me about the King of Cups. Page of Cups. They might want to apologize here. Uh, they have a lot of emotion for you. I don't think that's enough. Yeah. Emotion does not grow. Um, it's like there's an uh, emotion, but there's no growth here. Maybe they have a third party situation that they haven't let go of. Knight of Wands reverse. They're unable to commit to you. So they love you, but they can't commit to you. Um, I feel like they're trying to rebalance the situation, but I just don't see that being enough here. What's the potential outcome here? What's the potential outcome here for Scorpio and this other person? What's the potential outcome here, Spirit? Nine of coin reverse. What's the potential outcome here? I'm so sorry about the background noise, guys. They've been cutting trees for the last four days, so I really want to keep filming. Double energy at the bottom with this two of cups. Someone's feeling regretful here. Five of cups missing you, possibly. Missing um, or feeling bad about what happened with a situation. With Seven of Cups, um, I feel like there's a choice. Again, with the choice, it's like someone wants to make a different choice, but it might be too late here. Ten of Wands reverse. Someone's dropping this burden, and they're doing it like in a very calculating way, very rational way. What's the Seven of Cups about? Eight of Swords. What's this? Emperor, Two of Swords. Again, with a decision. See this? Both of these people are blindfolded. It's like someone really doesn't know what choice to make. I don't think this is you. I don't think this is you, or this could have been you, but no longer. I feel like you're already, like, you are ready to walk through the, whatever gate needs. It's like someone's trying to keep you from making this choice completely here. Tell me about this Two of Cups. Tell me about this two of cups. Page of swords. Someone wants to talk. Tell me more about this two of cups. Maybe talk about their regret. Because I have the apology here for your person. I want to work on this. That's what this person wants to tell you. Eight of coin. Page of swords. You get one more for this two of cups. Queen of coin. I want to commit. You are my queen. <laughs> but at the bottom of the deck, I have the Knight of Wands reverse. So again, it's like they can't really give you what you need, Scorpio. It's not enough. I feel like you've been attached to this person, possibly out of emotion or history or some other reason, financial maybe. But it's like it's enough is enough. Thank you for your likes, shares, and subscribes. Liking and subscribing really helps out the videos a lot and helps the channel grow. So thank you so much to everyone that does that. And I'll see you all in a different video. Take care.